One of the most dominant high school softball teams of all time is closing in on a third consecutive state championship. Tonight, the Rock Ridge Rockets blast off in the state semifinals. To Peoria we go. Rock Ridge taking on St. Anthony in a dance off first and then the semifinals. We'll pick things up in the first. St. Anthony loading the bases with one out, but Kendra Lewis goes back to back with two strikeouts to keep the Bulldogs scoreless. Bottom of the first, Peyton Brown on base, but not for long. Corey Needham splits the gap. Brown comes home. Rockets take a 1 0 lead. Top of the second, Rock Ridge can't stop the Bulldogs from scoring this time. Abby Hatton. Puts a dent in the scoreboard literally and figuratively. She hits the scoreboard for a home run to tie the game at one. Bottom of the second. Rockets take the lead right back and then some up two to one. Peyton Brown, hard grounder past the diving shortstop. Two Rockets come home and it's four to one. Rock Ridge. The Rockets weren't done. Brown would be on third for one pitch. Kendra Lewis. Reaches down and knocks another single into center. And Rock Ridge is moving on to the championship, winning it 6-2 to two over St. Anthony. The feeling's indescribable, and I wish everybody could experience this, but we worked super hard for this moment, and now that it's kind of here, it's super awesome, but it's not finished. Our job's not done. It's, it's a grind. Every practice is a grind. We, know, we talk at the beginning. Uh, it's a, not a sprint. It's a marathon, and every day we come to practice, work hard, and just look forward to the next game. How excited are you for that next game to come out one more time? I'm uh, super excited. I mean, all of us seniors, uh, we're going to leave it all on the field because it, it's our last one. Kind of crazy that we've been in a state championship game all three years of our career, and with the exception of our freshman year for because of COVID. But I mean, this game is definitely a little bit more close to our hearts because this will be our last game with this team, and I'm just so proud of this team and excited to see what we can do tomorrow. They're a special group. I mean, uh, they came in and they're, they're – uh, their uh, freshman year was canceled, you know, due to COVID, um, and they just continue to work. You know, uh, that year, God, I think we were, we were ranked number one, and that team, that team could have been maybe the best team we've had in the last seven or eight years. That was a really special team there. So, you know, they've gone through a lot. They've gone through a lot of adversity, and they've just continued to put the work in and and uh, do do what they need to do. In Class 3A, Sterling taking on Sycamore in a sectional championship. The Warriors getting on the board first when Maya Lira gets things started with a single to drive in a pair. Then it's Sienna Stingley keeping things going. She hits one with a good bounce over the pitcher to bring in another run. Warriors up 2 to nothing. Spartans able to answer. Brighton Snodgrass finding the gap to bring in the first run of the game for Sycamore in the bottom of the fourth. Kira Troutever. Hit one right to the third baseman who threw it home, allowing two runners to score, tying the game up at three. After the Spartans tied up the game, now it was Sterling's turn. Lauren Jacobs hitting it to deep right field, a two-run three-bagger to take back the lead. Sterling in front, five to four. Spartans would tie up the game in the seventh, but then Sterling would fall in the bottom of the seventh, six to five, ending a great run for the Golden Warriors. The Newman Comets playing at State Baseball for the first time ever today. Newman taking on Henry Senichwine in the semifinals. Second inning, Comets at the plate. Carson Rowe lining a shot past the third baseman. Mason Johnson coming around to score. Mallards jump out to a 1-0 lead. That lead wouldn't last for long. Top of the third, freshman Garrett Matznick. Rolls a base hit up the middle. Isaiah Williams not stopping at third. He comes around to score. Game tied at one. Bottom of the fourth. Mallards with a runner on. They rip a shot to third, but Garrett Wolf with a quick glove at the hot corner to snag it and end the inning. Bottom of the seventh. Still tied at one. Kyle Wolf with the 0-2 count, but Rowe able to get just around on it, sending it to center for a Mallard single. Two batters later, Jacob Miller. Ripping a liner into center. Rowe comes around from second, and it's a walk-off winner. Newman falls 2-1. to one. The Comets will face Goreville for third place tomorrow morning.
It was an amazing season. Um, we're just we're all battled together, and uh, we were in it at the end, and just one play, and we could have been a different game. Um, starting starting with COVID year was my my freshman year, and then uh, to come out and win three sectional titles and and be a part of this this turnaround um, with the coaching staff uh, it was fantastic. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world. Oh yeah, school history this year. Um, you know, we knew we had a chance coming into the season to make a run in the postseason. Kids came together in the middle of the year, and uh, I'm really happy for the kids, happy for the school. Um, but they had a really good run there. I think we rattled off 11 in a row before that game, and it was a really good second half of the season. Made a good run. Yeah, I think we'll have a lot of experience because uh, we're pretty young. I think we have three seniors that start this year and then some on the bench. But I think we'll be motivated and want to try to come win it. Girls State Soccer semifinal action in Des Moines today. Assumption taking on Helan early on in the first half. Assumption's Annika Katula fires off the long kick. Ball bounces off of all kinds of bodies, but Helan able to clear the ball. Assumption keeps knocking. This time it's Ella Curo taking a chance, but right into the hands of the keeper, Lauren LaFleur. Helan's Jada Newberg gets up field here. Boots one across to Traylon White. Right in front of the net, and she won't be denied, finding the back of the net for a 1-0 healing lead. Just a few minutes later, Reese Bleeker sees Lauren Peck, and she fires one at the angle right into the top corner of the net. Just like that, Helan takes a 2-0 lead. Time winding down in the first half. Helan with a corner kick here, launching it right up front again, and Lauren Peck is there for her second goal of the day. Second half, Helan's trailing white, gets the penalty kick, and it bounces off the keeper's hands into the net. Assumption down four to nothing, but the Lady Knights fighting to the bitter end. Drew Dorsey takes the penalty kick, and she drains it, getting the Lady Knights on the board. But Helan wins this one four to one, ending another great year for Assumption. North Scott taking on Dallas Center Grimes, 13th minute. Mustangs on the attack. Landry Glasgow buries it. What a take. She gets by a pair of defenders, sending it into the net for what would be the only goal of the game. The Mustangs win it one to nothing, ending another great year for the North Scott Lady Lancers. That's it for sports.